welcome everyone. This is kind of impromptu. I just decided that it's been a little bit since I've shown some bundles and kind of, you know, given a little rundown on that's something that I do for maybe some people who don't know. I had a bunch of hair on my arm that I just had to get off because it was tickling me. But if you are not aware, I do style bundles, so I'm like a virtual online stylist. I have an Etsy shop where I will list these bundles that people can order, or more like style client slots. Um, so there's three different tiers. There's one outfit tier, there's two outfit tier, and then there's a three outfit tier. So if you want to be styled by me, if you want to be one of my clients, then you can go to my Etsy shop, buy one of these slots when they're available. I restock once a week, sometimes on Thursday evenings as well as always on Friday mornings is my typical time. But sometimes I've been doing half of the restock on Thursday evenings and then the other half on Friday mornings for people who are in different time zones to kind of cater to a wider variety of people. So you can count on bundles being there. I also have an Instagram for my shop, Modern Muses Styling, where I will update more frequently when I restock and just post some fun bundles, sometimes some really cool client photos that I get. And then also I've been doing custom pieces over there, or I'm starting to. I just auctioned off my first custom piece, which is how I'm gonna be selling these pieces in the future. And my friend Ari won them. They're these hand-painted boots I'll show you really quick. So I hand-painted these boots. They were just plain black cowboy kind of western style boots and then I added the red trim all the flowers and the vines and both boots are a little different because they're hand painted the two together these kind of ended up being a little similar like a happy accident with these flowers up here so that's so that was my first piece oh yeah and then the star details up here just thought that was a fun little addition, but I'm gonna be doing more customs just of like random things that I get and decide that I feel inspired to customize, whether that be jackets or I don't know. I'm, I think I'm gonna be doing a lot of like painting, embroidering, but also maybe some sewing stuff. Uh, I just got a sewing machine, so I just need a spot to set up and I think then I'll feel more inspired to do something. So who knows what I'm gonna be putting up there, but if you wanna follow along and you're interested in seeing some stuff that I create or just wanna watch for when I'm posting bundles more frequently, you can check out that Instagram page. Anyways, more on what the bundles are specifically. I'll be styling you and you get a couple outfits depending on whatever style tier you buy. We got that much so far, but what I do is once you purchase your like style client spot, you will send me your measurements. I'll need like bust, waist, hips, leg and seam is very helpful as well, your height, your shoe size, any other measurements that you think are important or any uh, characteristics that you want me to watch out for. Like if you say like I don't like to wear skirts, I don't like to wear this kind of color or this type of fabric, whatever that may be if you have any. Um, specifics that you would like me to avoid. I want that information. And then also a theme. So I have a couple theme ideas in the listing on Etsy for you to look through and get inspired, but you can totally feel free to make up your own and I highly encourage it actually because it's so fun to see what you all come up with. And then I'll just need some style inspirations like people that you would kind of loop into being someone who's influenced your style and that theme that you want. So I mainly focus on like 60s and 70s style, but I've done some 80s, some a lot of 90s honestly, some 50s even. So we can talk and we can figure out whether it's like something that I can do or not, but I've never had to tell somebody to pick a different theme. Um, so you know, I just encourage you to follow your heart. Um, what else do I need from you then? I'd like to have your Instagram handle if you want to give it to me and if you like to like share your style over there as well then that can kind of help me get an idea. Um, some people make Pinterest boards, you know, you can go as much as you want after that like basics that I need. But I think that's all the information that I need from you. And then once I have all of that, 
I will go to the thrift store and I search secondhand specifically for your bundle based on your measurements and everything so I'm basically like personal shopper kind of a thing and sometimes I'll go to online resellers as well and check around it all just depends what I'm looking for and even sometimes I'll take things from my own closet that I think really fit the theme and will just make a bundle that much better so you never know what you're gonna get I have a lot of fun with it I think it's super cool to help people explore their personal style and maybe step outside of their boundaries in their like comfort zone of what they would normally pick up for themselves so I feel very honored that people trust me enough to be that person to do that for them and I love seeing pictures back I love hearing that people feel great in their clothes and just making people feel like themselves like what they feel like on the inside on the outside so it's a wonderful process to be a part of I love it and I just have a couple really cool ones today that I wanted to share with you besides just giving an update that that's still something that I do and the customs um, Another custom that's on there, it wasn't something that I auctioned off, it was just a gift that I gave to my really good friend TJ. I just saw this vest and I was like, this looks like TJ. It kind of needed a little TLC when I first got it, but I had the vision like immediately in my head. So I knew that I just had to put in a little bit of work and then it belonged to him. So I painted it up for him, cleaned it up, added some fringe where there was some missing fringe, like asymmetrical kind of stuff. So that's on there as well as just kind of like an example of some of my personal work, I guess. But without further ado, let's just look at this bundle. I'm not going to try these ones on because I'm not the same size as these people, so I don't think that it would do the clothes justice. But this first bundle is like an androgynous rocker with like a feminine flair to it. They said that they were very inspired by Stevie Nicks as well, but mostly wore men's style clothing and a little bit like oversized on the top. So let me show you what we got going here. Both of these people that I'm showing also got the um, triple tier, like the three outfit style slot. So first up, I've got this really cool suede kind of like long jacket cleaned it up. I have some suede cleaner and like a toothbrush that I use for those wondering. It's got these really cool buttons that I love, love, love. This beautiful beaded necklace. I'm obsessed with it. And they could wear it with this outfit or they could not. I mean, the top already has a lot going on. So it might get lost if it does and they still want to wear a necklace. They could wear that one and wear this one with that outfit. But I'm getting ahead of myself. This top is really cool. I love the pattern on it. And it's got like this ruched detail in at the waist, so I feel like it will be a really nice fit. And then on the sleeves as well here right before it flares out. So just little things that I feel like really make it a cool piece. Also it's more of like a boat neck top, which I feel like is going to be super cool looking. I have it paired with these corduroy flares. Kind of like a wide leg, maybe more of like a bell bottom than a flare. But I think that's going to look super cool, especially if they wear it with like some heeled black boots or if they have some platforms. Just anything with a little bit of a heel will be great, I think. Like even if there's some beetle kind of-esque like Chelsea boots, that would be perfect with this. Next up, these absolutely gorgeous pants. They're a flare as well. And they're like this shiny kind of soft black material and they're guess so really nice quality and then i really liked like a mixed neutral kind of tone with this outfit so i decided to add this belt with it i think that this brown and black goes really well together the brown's not too brown to where it's like fighting with the black i feel like and then i have this really pretty blouse underneath more of that ruching detail which i just feel like creates a nice Fit. And it's got kind of like a lower neckline, which they can wear this necklace in and just have it kind of dangling down and then tie this up closer around their neck. It's like a sheer ombre kind of scarf. The edges are darker black and then it goes into a gray. Or it could be tied to like a handbag or something. But again, this outfit with like some black boots is just phenomenal. All these outfits, honestly, with black boots, or if they wanted to do like a pop of color too, that'd be 
um, a good time to do it, I feel like. Then the last outfit, I found this super cool, very romantic, semi-sheer kind of blouse. It's got these roses and leaves that are like a burnout detail. And then on top of that, I have this sequined black like vest layered over top. And this could even be worn as a top itself or worn with these other outfits. So we got some versatility going on there. But I love the little round buttons. I think it looks super cool. And then added with this like huge coin necklace. I'm getting kind of Brian Jones from this outfit. And I love that. So then these are like gingham black and white flares as well. And I feel like all these outfits really fit the kind of androgynous rocker with a femme flare vibe and I'm super stoked. So this is off to Paris. And here's the final client that I will be sharing with you today. They got a three outfit bundle. So yeah, their theme was like 60s glam girl slash retro red carpet. So I just tried to go like a little more dressy outfits, something that they could wear maybe on an evening out. Let me show you what I found. So for this one, I ended up kind of giving a bonus outfit. Sometimes that just happens. Um, but I found this really gorgeous wrap dress that's this beautiful like midnight blue so soft and the fabric's really thick i think it's gonna be great for fall winter you could wear it with some tights and like some mary janes or some boots they could wear it with tights and platforms that would be super cool too and like big hair if they wanted to be more like 70s and then i paired it with this necklace which is something similar to one that i already have and i love it um it just sits really close to the collar and has all these little gold metal pieces that jut out around the neck. And then I found this super cool like 70s-esque disco glam top that has this like lorex woven into the fabric. I love 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 these colors especially for fall and winter. The sleeves like the angel sleeves are gorgeous and this could be layered with a turtleneck underneath as well and I think that would look really cute. And then paired with that I have this knit mini skirt. Just a beige, nice, classic staple piece that will be great for this cooler season coming up. And this necklace, which is a really long gold braided chain and then it has this like dangly kind of pendant. This could either be worn long hanging down in the neck area or it's long enough to where they could clasp it around their waist and let it hang onto their hips a little bit. So I would leave that up to them. This top is cropped a little bit to where I think they could wear this underneath the top and it would hang down like a little bit on one side and that would be a really cool detail. They also could wear this like layered up with this outfit and I think that would be very cool. And then I found this beautiful, beautiful burgundy crochet top. It's like off the shoulder so they could wear it with a turtleneck underneath or a tank top. Then I also included this little tie belt with these black beads super cute here's the details around the neckline love that and then this like midi length cheetah print skirt which has like this roughly bottom and i think would be really cute with some black tights and like some little heels or boots or platforms as well depending on or they wanted to go more 60s or 70s. Finally, this is a really glam outfit. Uh, this purse could be worn with like any of the outfits really. I think it would be great, especially with the blue dress. It looks cute with this outfit and with this one. But for the final outfit, I found this beautiful necklace, these little metal balls all around it, and then this one with these rhinestones. I have this long black slip. It's got this little slit up the side which i think is cute it's maxi length and then all around the neckline is this black feather trim which is such a glamorous little touch and then on top layered over everything is a sequined sheer cover-up which i think is just adorable it could also be worn as a top if they really wanted to with like this skirt i think that would be a cute look a very like loopy Esque look. And then to match the pink bag, I found these pink gloves that are still in their wrapping and I think that that would be such a look like this with black boots or like some platform shoes. 
with the gloves holding onto the purse is like pink little details. I'm obsessed with it. So overall, love, love, love these outfits. I hope she does as well. And those are all that I have to share with you today. So I hope that you enjoyed this little impromptu video. I just kind of thought while I was doing these. I haven't done a bundle video in a while. These two are super, super cute. Thought that I'd update you all on that part of my life. If you want to stay more up to date on all of my listings and postings and custom pieces, you can follow Modern Muses Styling on Instagram. And I think that's all I've got to say to you today. Um, my Etsy shop is The Modern Muses. I always link it down in the description if you're curious. But I hope you all are having a fantastic fall, a good start to the school year for those of you who are in school. I am sending my love. I'm just going to go package up these clothes, go to the post office, and then spend the rest of Andrew's birthday with him. Sending my love, big kisses, and I'll catch you in the next one.